So you want to be a famous tennis player, do you? Well, grab your racket and let's head onto the court so I can check your serve. The first thing we need to do is create a score sheet with a column for each player. Then, flip a penny to decide who's going to serve first. The serving player takes the double-sided service card and places it in front of him with the serve left side face up. Place the penny on the yellow arrow to represent the tennis ball. The other player shuffles the eight rally cards and deals four face down to each player. That's everything. You're ready for your first rally. See how the service card shows a double arrow? That means your opponent has made a powerful smash that's headed for your backcourt. The rally cards in your hand show tennis balls in two of five possible locations. The serve's precise destination is shown in miniature on the service card. The receiving player must respond with a rally card that has a tennis ball in that location. Every time you play a card, move the penny to the location that you're responding from. Now this line has only a single arrow, which means it's a tip shot that's headed just over the net into the forecourt. Again, the precise destination is shown in miniature on your rally card. Take turns playing cards from your hand, rallying back and forth until one of you can no longer respond with an appropriate card. When a player can't return the ball, his opponent earns a point. Mark it in the appropriate column on the score sheet. The player who received the serve gathers up all eight rally cards, shuffles them, and deals out four to each player. Meanwhile, the server flips the service card to show serve right and places the penny on the outbound arrow. Play continues just like that with the same player alternating between left and right serves regardless of who scores the point. The game continues until one player has scored at least four points and is also two points ahead of his opponent. This will usually happen after about 10 minutes of play. In tennis, the person who's serving usually finds it easier to score points. To even out this advantage, players take turns serving over multiple games. This is referred to as a set. You don't have to play a set if you don't want to. If you do, however, we recommend declaring a winner as soon as someone has won two more games than his opponent. Professional tennis players will often play multiple sets against each other, which is called a match. That's where the saying, game, set, match, comes from. Good game, champ, and thanks for joining me on the court for a quick lesson. You've got an impressive forehand. Put it to good use, and you'll be famous in no time.